In today's episode, you will learn how to make a schematic and PCB and Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. In my previous tutorial, I made a power supply for the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module using a Vero board. Working on a Vero board is really a tedious job, as you have to manually connect each and every wire. So that's why I decided to make a PCB. So in today's episode, you will actually learn two things. Number one, you will learn how to use the latest version of the Gatesoft Eagle for making a schematic and a PCB. And number two, you will also learn how to make a PCB board for the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. So let's get started. First of all, make sure that you know about the basic connections of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module because you can only make a schematic and a PCB if you know about the connections. If you don't know about the connections then you should watch my tutorial on how to make a power supply for Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Link is given in the description. While the Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version is open, click on the grid, select on and click OK. Now click on the 8 part and search for the Node MCU. Link is given in the description if you want to download the Node MCU library. Click on the 8 part and search for the female header and select the one which consists of 15 female headers. As we have 15 pins on each side of the Node MCU. Right click to rotate the part and click the mouse left button to add this part. Now add another one on the left side. Click the escape key on the keyboard. Now click on the net and start connecting the female headers with the pins of the node MCU. Now search for the regulator and select the 7805T and click OK. Now add the remaining parts. So now as you can see all the components are connected. Now click on switch to board button to make a PCB. Now simply arrange these components. Now click on the text and write any text you want. And then select the bottom layer. Click on the size to change the text size.
Now click on the route button. Change the width as per your requirement and start connecting the wires. You can change the wire width at any time. Similarly connect all the wires. You can also do the automatic routing but the preferred one is the manual routing. Now let's make it a bit stylish. Click on the polygon. Click on the isolate and select 24. Now click on the spacing and select 56. Now draw a rectangle. In the signal name write GNG which stands for the ground. Now it's look pretty cool. As you can see these connections are balanced. As we set the signal name as ground that's why it's connected with all the ground pins. Now again click on the route button and start connecting the remaining wires. Now click on the redness to update the PCB. Now this PCB is ready and can be used in different projects. For PCB making at home you can watch my tutorial on PCB design setting, printing, transferring and etching using ferric chloride acid. Make a PCB at home. The link is given in the description. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.